Conclusion The journey from coming up with an idea for a product to making it to testing and launching it is a long one. And as we have just seen, there is more to do right after the product is out in the hands of the customer. Every step of the way has a critical role to play in whether the customer returns to your brand when you are ready with the next rollout. At every step, you need to make sure that the customer experience takes precedent. It's important to get them help when they reach out, and that requires planning. Sometimes, it also requires anticipating the scale of the problems, if not the exact issue itself. Planning for alternative scenarios and backups in case of failures is non-negotiable. It's the only way to gain their loyalty. Now, every brand has its own approach when it comes to presenting itself to the customer. That depends on many factors. Are you reaching out to customers who have plenty of options, or are you offering a unique solution in a saturated market? Are you counting on the vision of the product, or is it going to be a marketing blitzkrieg that will win you your audience? Are you picking a new product in a niche space, or is it a follow-up of an existing model? When you know the answers to these questions, you also know who your audience is. That tells you a lot about messaging and communication. We've seen how to use the many platforms at your disposal to get the word out. We've also seen how wrong things can go if you make a simple mistake like picking the wrong format message for the wrong platform. But if you don't make any of these mistakes, you will have given yourself a scalable product that is a result of a collaborative effort. Once you have the product out there, put some resources into tracking the stories that the customers are sharing with you. Make sure all this data is analyzed and turned into quantifiable information that can be used to improve the product at hand. Make sure you follow up with the partners, opinion makers, and influencers you brought on board early on. Use the existing marketing channels to talk about the impact your product has had. If there are issues, even small ones, don't try to cover them up. Make a plan to resolve them, and most importantly, share it with the customers. When you get a positive testimonial, use it as free advertising for your brand and product by retweeting, pinning, and sharing the response. Use it to boost the morale of the team. Put your best foot forward and get the word out. Hold contests to tease the customers, to expand the abilities of your product and share them on your website and social media handles. Announce rewards for those who get creative. If you make fitness equipment, ask your customers to post pictures and videos of them using your equipment. Make it a competition. If you make gadgets, ask your users to use them and post the results. If you're making cameras, do a contest for the best pictures. If you make GoPro accessories, ask your users to shoot their next hike. There are so many ways to get your target audience interested in your product, even after the purchase. Remember that that's what keeps the romance alive. Now, it's time to take action. Get your product launch planned. Then, your product launched. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.